breaking news from the Asia Unscripted News Desk. So, uh, Metro Manila and some surrounding areas are back on full lockdown, um, otherwise known as ECQ. If you followed my channel um, for the past year, uh, most of the Philippines, actually all of it, was under ECQ um, when this whole pandemic thing first started a year ago. Um, I shared with you my experiences living during ECQ in Cebu. Well, now it's back. Even though the government said they would never do ECQ again, um, it's now necessary. Um, in the last two days, um, yesterday there was close to 10,000 new cases in the country. And then today was another 9,500. And then a few days before that, we were looking at 7,000, 8,000 a day. Um, the deaths really are still low. The problem is, is now the quarantine facilities are filling up and the hospitals are filling up. So... I think that they had to do something. Um, otherwise, look at Brazil. Uh, Brazil, many cities have no more hospital capacity and things are kind of melting down there. And the Philippines is on its way <laughs> towards that. So they needed to declare ECQ. So it starts Monday morning at 12.01 a.m., and it will last for one week until Sunday, April 4th. But they also told us last year that it would only last two weeks. So if you're in Metro Manila, uh, it could be longer than a week. Um, usually it takes a few weeks, several weeks for things to turn around when you have a, a hard lockdown like that. So what does that mean? Um, so only certain things can can stay open under ECQ. So public transportation is suspended. Um, you know, nobody should be going out. Um, quarantine passes will be back. So um, if you have quarantine passes from before, um, yeah, you might want to dig that out of your drawer. Um, restaurants will be allowed to remain open for takeout and delivery. So if you use Food Panda or Grab Food, you're probably okay. Um, malls, um, they're essentially closed starting Monday, except for essential stores such as the supermarket, pharmacies, and hardware stores. So um, if you're in Manila and you're watching this right now, Saturday night, you have pretty much Sunday to <laughs> do your shopping and um, there's probably going to be a big rush on, on shopping tomorrow, uh, Sunday. So, um, so what can stay open? Um, so essential goods and services can stay open at a 50% capacity. Um, the media, uh, your newspapers, your news stations, 50% capacity. Um, Industries that have to have a skeleton force include, um, you know, the vet clinics, banks, money transfer services, um, security personnel, real estate activities, uh, water supply, airline. Um, so there, there's a whole list online of restrictions for ECQ, but basically um, you're not going to be going anywhere for at least a week. Um, what else? <laughs> so, also, um, we haven't heard about flights yet. The last time there was ECQ in Manila, um, domestic flights were canceled because they're not allowed to operate in areas that are under ECQ. So, maybe later today or tomorrow, they might update us on the flights. So, if you're planning on flying to Manila in the next week, it may not happen. Um, or they may keep it going. I don't know. That hasn't been um, disclosed yet. Uh, international flights. The last time there was ECQ, international flights. Um, they were going as normal, at least outgoing. You know, incoming still has the restrictions. 
that we, uh, well, I didn't talk about it, but um, some other vloggers have talked about it. So there's a, right now, until like April 21st, something like that, only OFWs and, and Filipinos are allowed in. And it's limited to 1,500 people a day. So foreigners right now can't really get in um, under most circumstances. Uh, I think there's a few uh, exceptions. So that's it for Manila. I think that includes Laguna. Um, there's a few, Rizal. There's a few surrounding provinces that are also under the, the ECQ now, well, starting Monday. Um, they're, they're calling this area NCR Plus. So if you don't know what NCR is, that is National Capital Region. So that includes uh, those provinces I just mentioned. I think Cavite is included, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so all those areas will be under ECQ starting Monday at midnight, 12.01 a.m. Um, so this does not apply to the rest of the Philippines as of right now. So, um, you know, Cebu is still MGCQ. Um, a lot of Mindanao is under MGCQ or GCQ. So for now, those areas are are uh, still okay, but we're still waiting for the April 1st classifications that the president will probably uh, dish out here in the next few days. So, you know, you can't rule out ECQ in other areas starting April 1st. You don't know. Uh, I don't know. No one knows. Um, but if that does happen, you know, I'll report on it. So... I'm here in Ho Chi Minh City, but I still keep track of the news in, in the Philippines better than a lot of expats that live there, uh, better than a lot of the locals. So I, I keep track of the news all over Asia. That's why I'm Asia unscripted. Anyways, um, here in Ho Chi Minh City, it's a nice evening. Um, you know, it's not too hot. There's a little bit of a breeze. So anyways, that's my update for now. If any other areas get added to the ECQ or if uh, flights end up getting canceled, I'll let you guys know in a community post. Um, but for now, I think this video will do. So anyways, uh, keep safe out there, especially if you're in the Metro Manila area. Um, for everyone else, also keep safe. Uh, be careful. This thing is still out there. and. Um, you know, here in Vietnam, there isn't a lockdown right now, but that could easily change with a few cases. So, um, anyways, um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, hit that bell for notifications of new videos, and I will see you guys next time.